But look at me rambling on, Dreamac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. So you finished the story in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and nobody gave you a lockpick or a rope ascender. Thankfully, these two items are in the exact same place, but it does mean you'll need to do some more work to get them. All you need is 6,100 gold pieces, you can sell some wood or ore at any merchant if you need more, and to have access to the Petiti village in the hidden city. If you're there, then we're good to go. You need to start the Find Tiki's Dice side quest in Batiti the Hidden City by speaking with Tiki, who can be found sitting down just west of the Northern Bridge here. He asks you to find his dice, which he says have been stolen. Are you okay? No. Pisco the Dead took my dice. They haven't actually been stolen, as it turns out. He lost them fair and square in a dice game to Pisco the Dead, who isn't actually dead. It's very confusing. Anyway, Pisco can be found here a stone's throw east of the Temple District base camp. After that, there are four basic locations shown on your map where you'll find the outcasts, members of Petiti's society who have been shunned for different reasons. They're not difficult to find once Lara's in the circle, so check your map to make sure you're in the circle and look for the NPC with a side quest symbol above their head. You'll need not to be wearing the Serpent Guard outfit, so once you've changed into something less scary, talk to each one in turn. Hello. Are you an outcast? They're just inside a building, a couple of flights of steps up from the water the in Petiti. Capybara. This guy will tell you the whereabouts of the white capybara, which is also a nice bonus. Number two is easy to find too. Just call up your map screen and head for the centre of the green circle here. It's up a hill near the cliff. This guy will tell you the location of gold, which is always nice to know. I send people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Number three is near the south of the village too, right in the middle of the prime area for collecting condor feathers. Again, head for the green circle on your map, and the person in question has the quest marker above their head. This outcast is located here, and will tell you the location of the great condor. The fourth is, predictably, exactly where the green circle says it will be. And this will tell you the location of the fifth outcast, who just so happens to be the holder of the lockpick and the rope ascender. Some say the queen is still down there, trying to catch that fish. To find that fifth outcast, you'll need to head right to the middle of the green circle here. This lady isn't like the others though, she's a merchant, and it may take a few seconds to realise that she holds two of the most vital pieces of equipment in the entire game. So, make sure you purchase the rope ascender, and then the lockpick next to it. So there you go, now you can open treasure chests with the lockpick, and pull down rope doors that need the rope ascender to open them. You can even hold X or Square, depending on whether you're on PS4 or Xbox One, to climb up ropes faster now. But not down them, apparently. Yeah, that's annoying. And that's how to get the lockpick and the rope ascender in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Enjoy it. Let us know if you've got any more hints or tips in the comments below. Click the boxes on the left for more content from us. And don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on Game Trader Plus. Uh, don't worry, I'll fix it. This is taking way too long.